Lucky you. the look of a tough as my fighter, don't you? Well, that's a sight for these old lies, because we got ourselves a whole heap of helping a Murphin trouble around these parts. And all our fighters are off at the forward operating camp trying to take back our village. You hear to them blue ones? Whatever a blue one is, I'm quite sure I can kill it. They used to be our kinfolk. They've been infected with something. Old Murph, they's, they's coming. With all the Murph and Murph. Reckon you're about to see for yourself. Take hey, cover, y'all. Them blue ones is a coming. <laughs> and shame to kill kinfolk like that. But there's no cure for the Blue Rage, far as we know. College Murph was working on one before he got Murph napped by that whiz-card gargle snot. Speaking of which, 
Murfetta was trying to rescue that smarty pants. She should have checked in by now. Could you go make sure my wife Queen's all right? I's got to see to the other Murphs around camp, make sure ain't no one got bit. Be careful out there, stranger. Gargle's not so wily one. Not to be trusted. If anyone's hearing this, I'm in trouble. Gargle's not killed my Queen's guard, and now he's... Nope. Um, um, everything's fine. We're, we're all fine here. Uh, we're just uh, uh, having tea and uh, talking about our feelings. Ooh, what's going up? You were supposed to destroy the mass, not become their wife queen. What are you even yapping about? Don't you see? I created you. I am your father. That's not true. It's Murph and impossible. Search your feelings. You know it to be blue. I mean, true. Damn it. Shut up. forcing me to help him with his experiments. I, I had no choice. But I did discover the truth. Gargle Snot created the Blue Rage virus. It's all part of his grand plan to wipe out the Murphs for good. And I also learned that there is no cure. Our infected brethren are forever lost to us. All we can do now is give them the peace of death. I need you to do something for me. Take this recipe and gather the ingredients around the forest. Oh, and Murphs, you might want to hurry, or Murfetta could be a bit more blue than you remember. <laughs> Murph licking Murph Murfer. College Murph, please tell me you got a plan to save our wife queen. I do indeed. I've sent the heroic-looking stranger to gather supplies for Garble Snot's Mushroom Enhancement Potion. If my theory proves accurate, 
That should aid us in bypassing the barricaded village gate. I'll meet you at the forward operating base outside the village when you're done. Watch your ear. Gargle snuff the pit crab has been spotted in that area. What? What are you doing? No! You monster! Now you listen here! You were a mere nuisance before, but now you've made this personal! Once I'm through with these Murphs, I'm coming after you! Serves you Murph and right, you evil <clears throat> Murph sucking whiz card! We Murphs have been carving out those rooftop shrooms to make our houses for generations. It's like to be a bit defensive. Stranger, you're approaching the lair of the hate troll known only as. Hey! Take the hate troll! <laughs> I have the ingredients. Splendid! Reconvene with old Murph and I at the forward camp. The cauldron is prepared. I'll keep the double double toil and bubble bath boiling for you. on that mushroom right there will lead to quite the amazing ride which should put you in the optimal position to open the gate for the rest of us now commence to jumping y'all hot diggity murph it worked now get that <clears throat> gate open so we can land an assist <clears throat> Ha! Let us save the day! Come on, men! We've got to take back our homes and find my wife, please! What's the matter? Sorry! Where are you? If you can hear me, dear! There! That crystal must be the source of the blue ray! <gasps> And Gargle's yeah. using it to turn Murfetta into one of them things. 
White Queen, can you hear me? Say something, girl. <laughs> Murph me right in the murfer. This looks all kinds of bad. But I think I know what I got to do. I'm gonna cleanse the crystal. Keep them blue ones off of me. <laughs> Not dead and the corrupted crystal cleansed, I think we Murphs can finally start rebuilding our lives. It's a real Murph and shame that old Murph won't be around to see it, though. Truffle hunts won't never be the same without him. But you've done us a real kindness this day. There's no way I can thank you enough, but I hope this'll do.
So the Dragon Lord is using the crystal thorns to leech the magic out of the forest? See? Now that's what I'm talking about. Why don't we get into the magic stealing business? Uh, because it's evil? Not if I use it to give orphans enchanted chamber pots. Boom! You look real dumb right now. Um, yes, I think. I knew it! 
I'm glad to meet you, hero. Perhaps it was fate itself. Onward to glory. Tina, what are you hiding in your hand? Nothing. <laughs> I know that laugh. She's cooking something up. And if it's who I think it is, you're in for a scream. of the Banshee! <laughs> Whoa, the Banshee? This early? Watch out, Banebaker. He's going for a total party play.
Impressive. I've seen the Banshee mop the floor with high-level characters. Between you and me, we had a thing. But then she left me for the maelstrom of endless insanity, which, you know, I mean, good for her, guy's a hunk. No! The heart of the forest is already corrupted! You evil! You took away my magic and my best friend! I'll never rip again! <laughs> hey! Someone out there! Let me out! The muffled voice seems to be coming from a caged crystal hanging before the corrupted heart. If you can hear me, help me out! Oh, hell yeah! Fairy Punch Brothers! You're alive! Thanks to your badass riffs, you truly are a barbarian! <laughs> uh, and you... I know you! Come here! You know me? Well, we haven't really met, but I'm the Fairy Punch Father. As long as magic's been around, I've been here to protect it. Mostly by punching. I've seen enough heroes in my time to know when I've been saved by one. Can you fix his magic loot? He needs to bless our ship. Can I? Ah! I'm the one he wanted from in the first place. Watch this. Zippy, zappy, punchy, magoo! Yeah! Is my loot in full power now? Damn straight! Give it a plug! Tweet, tweet! Tweet, 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 Okay, let's get this stupid blessing on the ship. It's not stupid, it's just how the rules work. Well, then the rules are stupid. I just want to get the quest moving. Uh-oh, party's starting to split. Looks like your story's floating dead in the harbor, Fate Maker. Ready for adventure? My loot is charged up with magic. Now put me at your noble vessel. <laughs> That's all! That one, right there. You're going out in that piece of stink? You're braver than I thought! Why is everyone besmirching the good name of the good ship Balzania? Because it's a piece of crap. No, your precious rules are what's a piece of crap. I see them. Soon, your party is divided. We can't cast a blessing with these vibes. We need a jam session. Lay down a beat! Lay it right up! Ow! Vibe check! Transpose your feelings into beautiful music! Ugh, Frecht? Valentine likes playing bunkers and badasses because he gets to feel like a hero and he's willing to ignore the rules in order to have fun. Ugh, fine. Valentine, I'm not trying to kill your fun. I love bunkers and badasses because of the rules. Think about it. In the real world, things just happen for no reason. Here, I know how things work. It's relaxing. Yeah! Yeah! Now the harmonies! And some magicizer! I guess I'm using it as an escape, too. Out there, I'm just going from job to job, worrying about how much fuel our spaceship has and blah, blah, blah. In here, I have a purpose. To get a new ship, a noble quest, and a chance to be a hero. Instead of just, you know, the idiot who crashed our spaceship. What is this kumbaya 
bullcrap. We're almost there! Just needs one more thing! We need some dingaling! Dingaling on that dingaling! has been defeated. Our well-thought-out character-rich story continues! Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. What matters is our intentions are noble. Yes, I'm still a good person. Alas, the good ship Balzania has sailed her last. Rest in pieces, my sweet maiden. Rest in pieces. So, if the entire ocean's gone, can we just walk to the Dragon Lord's Pyramid? Oh yeah, totes my goats. But, though there is no water, many uh, slightly damp dangers remain. Stops at nothing. Those shadows grin with sharpened teeth. The mountain stands tall. But only the quest will prevail. You are. 
Drop the ball! I thought I'd seen the worst from her, but a whole ocean destroyed just to get her story back on track. And you strummed along, happy to play your little game. You're already dead. You just don't know it yet. Willing to take a shot in the dark? I'm already one of the best shots in all the Wonderlands, but I want to be a legend. I've heard rumors that the Undead Army has uncovered the location of a legendary bow. I need that bow to become a true legend. Can you get it for me? science. I see your path is blocked by poisonous seaweed. Usually not a problem if you can just swim over it. Good thing I am the greatest alchemist alive, or at least the greatest in my family. The solution is my sea kelp solution. It will melt them away. Beginning to worry. Shut this from all 